Hey gang, Spade here, and today we are taking a look at Beast Machines, Mega Class, Optimus Primal, specifically Blast Punch Optimus Primal. Now, this is the third Optimus Primal uh, figure in the line, and personally, I think this is the most show accurate. It uh, definitely speaks to a, uh, a or techno organic gorilla. Now, if you uh, actually have seen the Deluxe Class version of Optimus Primal, you will know it looks nothing like he does in the show, while this one does. And there is a Supreme Class Optimus Primal, and that one is pretty good, too. Overall, uh, I think the Beast Mode is really nice. It looks really good. It's well detailed. Uh, unfortunately, there's really no posability with this figure. Um, unfortunately, because of the, the gimmicks and some of the ideas that are used with this guy, you can't really pose him at all. Uh, and also, I'd like to apologize for the lack of light in this video. Um, just having some issues with the light. So, uh, or er, there is a gimmick in this mode where uh, you push this big blue button on the top of his head, and he snarls at you. Grrr. So, uh, that's about it for the beast mode. Let's go ahead and take a look at the transformation. Transformation for this guy is actually pretty easy, and it's not so easy that it's that it's just non -incon it's inconsequential but it's satisfactorily easy we'll start with the legs uh, first thing we're going to do is just grab them and pull them down and straighten them out so that we get like actual legs or humanoid legs then we'll flip the gorilla feet in and push them forward so flip them underneath the feet and push forward like that so we get some uh, robotic feet Fold the arms down, and then what we're going to do is open up the gorilla chest, like that, and fold down his tummy, and just rotate the uh, gorilla head in, and close up the gorilla chest. Then this will rotate, the chest will actually rotate around, and we can fold up the robot head, fold up the tummy, and fold out the shoulder pads. Next, for the hands, we'll take the arm guards and fold them in. And while we fold them in, we'll push the hands in, fold the thumb down, and then rotate the guard all the way around. And it gives us the ability to fold up the other finger and rotate the fist around. Do the same thing on the other side. And there we go. Here is the robot mode for Blast Punch Primal. Posability is a little limited because he is very top-heavy. Uh, he does have some posability in the arms, though it is limited. And this is kind of weird because you've got a couple of different moving parts here. You've got the entire bottom part of the arm is movable, and there's a little bit of posability here. But then this entire section here is independently movable. And you're supposed to line it up so that you've got the beast part in or the hair in the beast mode and then this cyber or not cybernetic but um techno organic bit showing in the robot mode and honestly I really don't care. I just get it so that I can kind of bend I just line everything up so that I can kind of bend his arm a little bit. Now, the Blast Punch gimmick is on this arm, is on his left arm, where you rotate this part around, and he punches. That's it. That is the entire gimmick of the figure. That's it. Oh, and uh, one thing on the back here, fold that out for thrusters. Now, that, be, that silly gimmick aside, I think this is actually a really nice figure. I think it's a good-looking figure. It's not perfect. I don't remember there being this much yellow and orange in uh, in the show, but I think it's a good figure. It's a fun figure. Um, if you can't find or couldn't get a hold of the gigantic Supreme Class figure, then this was a great substitute. I really think this one should be repainted. I would love to see this thing repainted as, I don't know, maybe uh, not closer to the show, but a more um, Beast Wars 
close motif. Like uh, the original Primal was red and white and blue you know, with the black of the silverback gorilla. I think that would be a really nice repaint of this figure. So uh, overall, though, it's not a bad figure. Oh, I forgot about that. Yes, I'm sorry. I completely forgot about that. You actually spin this around to activate the Blast Punch gimmick and then push this button here. I just went to grab the figure and I think I broke it. I'm trying to figure out how to get that thing to work again. Oh well, um, that was the other gimmick that I was going to get into. <laughs> Whoops! So, actually what you do is you push this button and this will spin around automatically and then do the punch. So... Yeah, I think I broke it. Anyway, so uh, this is actually a pretty good figure, as I said. I would recommend picking him up if you can. Uh, if not, not a big deal. Uh, I actually prefer the deluxe class figure over this guy because he's a little more fun in my opinion, but this one is pretty good.